So our, the backbone of our auction operations is an old IBM AS400 technology database. And it's been around for a while. It's the backbone. So other systems are being built on top of it, but that is like kind of the source of truth. So it leads to some challenges, right? We rely heavily upon freeform text for describing some of our uh, repairs. We need to do some of the damages. So it's more difficult sometimes to work with some of that data. And then there are other systems built on top of and supplementing that for other parts of the business. We call it like retail reconditioning, where we'll re um, recondition a vehicle to go to, say, an end consumer rather than go for the sale. That data is better because it's got better categorization. It's better clean, right? So we're dealing with different maturities of data and understanding of data. So we, we make do with what we have, but it leads to some of the challenges we have in terms of understanding fully like when, uh, what repairs are done, at what level, and when it's actually completed. For a long time, I mean, still in some ways there is this, but we've got the experience of like, A, the auction manager, assistant general manager is going to interface directly with the, the green screen, they call it, but like with like a GUI built on top of the AS400 to query data, not very scalable. So the other side of that is we've got a lot of custom applications we build in-house. We've got huge IT teams. I mean, we also do software as well in our business as a service. So we've got that capability. But there was a big gulf right between like, hey, I'm going to query it myself, put it in an Excel pivot table and do something to like a full blown application, the front end, back end. And something that's more recently, I would say less than like a decade, but really like brought in. That's really helping some of the operations and, and surfacing that data is like the dashboarding solutions, Tableau, Power BI. And then most recently, I would say Dash Enterprise that we're using because you have this big chasm between Excel and working with the AS400 and then this full blown out application that takes teams of engineers, product managers, full scrum process, right? To something you'd be a little more scrappy with, right? So what I found good success in is being able to use the data, clean up the data and surface uh, insights and intelligence to auction users that weren't able to do that because if you're limited to Excel, there's just only so much you can do with it, right? So with Dash Enterprise and with Tableau, you can roll things up, surface things. And then with Dash, the nice thing is it's an application. You can actually interact with it, scenario plan. And an application we are currently piloting is an application to help surface what is open in terms of work to allow managers to assign that work to the technicians. And that's been very helpful because you can surface up lots of data points we can query from a database, show that to them so that the managers can use their understanding of not just the work that we're surfacing, but their understanding of their technicians and their skill sets, which isn't documented anywhere, to assign work to them. The, the genesis of this is, can we help them plan for new work coming in and volume changes? So it started off in Excel. Like we were saying, it's very flexible, brought in the data, kind of could manipulate it, summarize it, come up with recommendations. But then I came to the point where I'm creating VBA macros to schedule things and I'm not v version controlled. Things were kind of breaking. Only I could use it. It's not like I'm going to hand this to somebody else. It's very fragile. And the data pipeline was me manually querying something, bringing it into Excel, running a transformation. So it wasn't very scalable. The landscape seemed like Dash was the most extensible and flexible. So created the first prototype, built it out, was demonstrating value to our senior leadership. And we've got investment to get a license, get some help with professional services. And now we are here a few years later, still using Dash Enterprise and expanding our use case. That was a wonderful recommendation as I, I think about it, because I, I didn't know what I didn't know, right? You just don't know. So they gave that recommendation and then you stumble in the pandas and then you have to go into orchestration, but because the Python ecosystem is so healthy and vibrant, like it just makes it easy, right? We've got a workflow orchestrator We're using Prefect to orchestrate all of our pipelines, visualize it. And then also actually we built it into our Dash apps to hydrate 
our applications on an hourly basis with retries, notifications if things fail, and it's been great. So, yeah, that's 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 really cool. And and your your back end is is uh, an analytical database like BigQuery or something like that. We use, that's a great point. So our business is really shifting over to putting all of our data and analytics our analytics data into Snowflake. So most of the the data is in Snowflake. If it's not in Snowflake, we use Prefect to orchestrate it, pull it out of on-prem databases or other sources of some weather data we're pulling from an API, push it into Snowflake. And then we within there, we're transforming using DBT, data build tool. It makes it really easy, just SQL or some Python. And then we're just pulling it from the Dash Enterprise apps. That's right. I've got this front end with the Dash and I don't really put in business logic there. And I separate that from the data and the business logic, which I store in Snowflake and the data warehouse. So if there's a data issue, which most of the time it's a data issue, it's less of an application issue, right? We've got professional services that builds apps and, and Dash does a great job of making sure the application just runs. And like, if we tell it what to do, it'll show it. But really it's like a data, like a lot of our issues are say with data or business logic. Like I can fix that without breaking the application. All throughout our process, I can see lots of use cases for custom data apps. Like I think our two limitations, one is like scale, like our team is only so big, we only have so much funding from the business to continue to invest and contractors are even higher. But then secondarily, like our data, our data quality is such that it slows us down and data may not be available to do the things we want to do, right? So I think those are, our, those are our two problems, but like there's lots of use cases. Like I'd really like to expand out our planning application that we're working on now to help site leaders plan out the work in their shops and help ease over time, smooth that out, help them be able to react less reactively, right? And the limitations are some scale, like with our team, but really it's like the data, like how do we get it to the point where it's accurate enough that we can help make these decisions, right? So that's one use case that's like top of mind because that's something we're working on. And we're trying to solve or not solve, but this, like get to a point where the recommendations are actionable and accurate enough.